pint-sized end of the SUV market, sales of vehicles like this pair have grown almost 20% in the last year. On this test, we'll see how the biggest small SUVs compare back to back in the environment that they're developed for, the urban jungle. SUVs are inherently practical vehicles, and even at the smaller end of the scale, are handy and flexible companions. Both vehicles offer funky exterior styling with plenty of attention to detail, while also offering clever packaging ideas to help them stand out from the crowd. The Captur features a 1.2-litre turbo petrol engine paired with a six-speed dual-clutch transmission. The HRV features a larger 1.8-litre engine with a CVT. The Honda offers a comfortable drive, but the older engine and CVT combination is not as impressive as that of the Renault. The Captur's turbo engine delivered sprightly performance around town and was similarly impressive on a short stretch of highway driving. The Captur carries over the funky exterior styling on the interior, but Renault's choice of hard plastics does make it feel like a cheaper option. It also lacks some of the clever storage ideas that are found in the HRV. It's a more youthful and vibrant approach that makes the Honda feel conservative by comparison. Infotainment equipment levels are close, though we note that the Captur includes SatNav as standard, where the HRV requires an expensive aftermarket app and messy cable. But it's the Honda that wins when it comes to electronic driver aids, with auto high beam assist, lane departure warning and forward collision alert, all included as part of a $1,000 ADAS option. While the Captur and Honda share similar dimensions, the HRV has the appearance of a larger car. It also delivers on space as we found its boot more accommodating with wider loading access. By contrast, the Captur has a narrower load space but does offer a handy underboot storage area that we liked for transporting smaller items. Each vehicle is very easy to pilot around the city. The Captur has super light steering which will appeal to some drivers, while the HRV's steering is a touch heavier, offering better feedback to the driver. For negotiating parking challenges, we really like the HRV's blind spot assist feature. It includes a camera on the left-hand wing mirror, which feeds an image to the colour screen once the left-hand indicator is used. While we really like the styling on the Renault, it was felt that the choice of hard interior plastics cheapened the overall feel of the car. The Honda, on the other hand, felt like a more mature choice. The HRV is our pick of these two small SUVs.